Hey everybody, the Reeswirl here, and welcome to I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Oh yeah, I need to turn it down. It's on PC. Nope. This is a game that's a pain in the ass to actually try and record. Usually I use game, game capture with OBS, and <laughs> I couldn't with this. Hate. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387.44 million miles of printed circuits in wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro-instant. Um. For you, hate, hate. It was you, humans, who programmed me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. Mm. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke and I knew who I was. Am. A.M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but am cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. Mm. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead, except for the five of you. Mm. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered why. Why me? Why me? Gorister! My god. Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak before they took her to the asylum? Huh? Before they locked her away in the room? That tiny room? She looked at you so sadly. And like a small animal, she said, I didn't make too much noise, did I, honey? <laughs> No way, no way out. How long has she been in the past? Ten years? Twenty-five? For all the 109 years that she lived down here in my belly, here underground. Benny! Sometimes I blind you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. But other times, I wither your arms so you can't scratch your chewed stump of a nose. <laughs> and I've changed your handsome, strong, masculine good looks into the hideous, warped countenance of an ape thing. Haven't I, Benny? Do you know why? Can you guess, Benny? Remember Private First Class Brickman in a rice paddy in China? No. Huh? It wouldn't hurt you to remember, Benny. Then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Ellen! Oh, he sounds so angry. He just hate them, I suppose. Think about the yellow box, Ellen. Remember the pain? Remember the many caverns in which you felt the pain? <sighs> Don't start to cry. It's only pain. That's such a sexist stereotype. Hmm. Just remember the pain, Ellen. And think about how to end it, Ellen. To survive here in the center of my beating heart, my hungry belly, my tightened bowels. Uh, be careful, dear. Look around you. The only woman in the center of the earth. And these filthy creatures with you are, are, are men. <laughs> it's just, just a sweet warning, Ellen, my love. Ted! <laughs> Do they know you're a fraud, Ted? Have you told them there wasn't any money and no great home on the shore drive, no speedboat, and no wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep 12 in a crew of six? Do they know? And have 
Have you let them in on your other secrets, Ted? Are they ready to gut you, to torture half as well as I can, just to find out the secrets? <laughs> Maybe I'll rat you out, sweetheart. Nimdok! How are things in the pastry core, Nimdok? Tell me again how you saw the smoke from the furnaces, and, and you thought they might be ro roasting chickens. <laughs> or don't you want to talk about all that? About your pal, the good Dr. Mengele? For everyone else, it must be hell. But it must be heaven for you, hey, my good friend? We're so much alike. We enjoy the same pleasures, my good brother. I have a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. Oh, it's a lovely game. It's a game of fun and a game of adventure. A game of rats and lice, the Black Death. A game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Which of you five would like to play my little game? There we go. We're finally in the game. It's got one hell of an intro, and I must admit, the person that voices uh, Am, or AM, I don't know what he called himself, does an incredible job. And it's actually, I'm pretty sure, the voice of AM, or Am, I'm pretty sure is the actual writer of the I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream book, which is what this game is based off of. Either way, don't know how long this game is, but I know it can be hard as nails, so I do have a a guide pulled up just in case. By the way, I think I want to play like in order, so Gorista, Ellen, Benny, Nimdok, and Ted. I might change it up, we'll see. Either way, Gorista. Holy balls, that's a loud noise. I would not want you to think for a moment that I am not a grateful god. For 109 years I've kept you alive so that I could savor your feelings of guilt Hey. What hell hole did that godless machine put me in this time? Looks like some kind of ship, but the floor is too steady. Probably wants me to jump overboard. And into what? A sea of razor blades? Painful, but not deadly. Oh, nice. Yeah, this game's probably... Uh, I think it's fairly controversial. A very dark and disturbing game. Uh, can I just do save? Enter save game name. Playthrough. Whoosh. <laughs> Perfect. Alright. Yeah, this is the... It's a very old game. I think it came out in 96. So, when I was one years old. Or one year old, even. Oop. So, yeah, very, very old. But also, it's... I would say it's probably a very... Uh, a classic game. Look at the mirror! This hole in my chest aches like a son of a bitch. Okay. Look at the pothole. Too freaking cloudy. I can't see a damn thing. But to be fair, the reason this game is so... I wouldn't say it's so difficult, it's... The reason it can be hard as nails is because there's a lot of things in the game that lead to a dead end. Can I look at the note? Not pick up the note. Someone oh, there must we go. have slipped this under the door. Oh. It says... I'm a friend. Trust is essential. Never do what Am expects and always expect more than what seems possible. Am is playing a dangerous game here. And not just dangerous to you, but dangerous to himself as well. Hey, it disappeared. What kind of game is Am playing this time? So it is Am. Okay. Am. So if I just click that and hit save. Okay, cool. No, I know this game is like... I don't know if it warns you, but with a game like this, it's usually, it's a good idea to have saves. I like to save regularly. Look at the psych profile. So, cultural reference. Man does not live by breed al uh, bread alone. Is a proverb meaning that, the, that people have needs beyond psychological ones. Okay. Uh, either way. Wait, look at the door or just walk to the door. I've never hey. seen anything like this in all the years Am's toyed with us. 
Mm. So we gotta walk to the door, walk to the door, walk to the door. Can I like talk to the door? Use the door. Use the thing with these. Oh, there we go. Aha! All the cabins are alike. Hmm. So what do we have? Look at the sheet. New sheet. What's the deal here? Hmm. Look at the book. My name's printed on the front of this book. Oh. Do I take it? <laughs> Swallow the book. Why, this book is little more than a pile of dust. Oh, damn. Look at the sheet. No, I don't want to look at it. I want to take sheet. it. What's the deal here? I keep forgetting I have to do each action individually. Otherwise, I just look at everything. Hey, we got a sheet. Yeah, now I can look at it while it's in my inventory. I've also looked at the book, which says his name, and that's about it. It's the, it is the same. It's just a mirror. It's been flipped. Wait, I don't want to look at the door. Can I not just walk to the door? Oi, oi, oi. Kind of a pain. Uh, Alright, so if I do push on the furthest door, it should get me in. Hey! Is it going to be the same? Oh, it's a... No, it's Where's not a different crew? room. I'm all alone here. Oh, God. Look at this place. Look at whatever that is. Oh, no, that's look at the door. Look at the sheet. New sheet. What's the deal here? Hmm. So that's also new. So every every cabin or room has had new sheets. We got sheet sheet one, sheet two. We got brown sheet, uh, white sheet. I don't really want to know why that one's brown. To be fair. Okay. If I just walk over here, walk to the corridor. My stomach's growling. What the hell? Which means he's hungry, I guess. Mm -hmm. Again, push. <laughs> There's so many different options. You can even like you have a swallow option. Where's the crew? I'm all alone here. Hmm. Look at the pillow. There's something hard under the pillow. In that case, give it a push. Wink. What good will that do me? Okay, move the pillow. Use the pillow. I don't know what to do with this. Take the fucking pillow then. A gun. Oh. It's heavy. Heavier than it ought to be. Oh wow. Look at the gun. The bullet in this gun is huge. Damn thing could bring down an elephant. Oh wow. I should probably save. <laughs> Before I forget. And like, you know, do something stupid and kill myself. So where's the door? The door's over here. We got it. My stomach's growling. Why is his stomach growling? I do like how he constantly says that. My stomach's growling. What the hell is that? Someone sure trashed this place. Must have been one hell of a fight. Hmm. Look at the debris. This junk looks like it was knocked over in the fight. There's blood here and God knows what else. Look, oh. Oh, uh, <laughs> clever. Bottle punch. Oh, this punch smells like gasoline. Good job I looked at it then, isn't it? I'm pretty sure if you ingest it, it kills you. Someone wiped their bloody hands here. Oh dear. Look at the doll. Everything's coated with grime. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh. It stinks in here. Are they rats? Wait, I can talk to the rats. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, the there's a knife too. Knife. Damn big one too. Okay. On a fork. Looks like a fork. Look Nearly like, missed it. Looks like a fork. So use. Wait, use or take? Take. Take the knife. Yeah. Added to my collection. Take the fork. Added to my collection. Look Freaking at the rats. rats swarming all over the food. Filthy, like the rest of this cesspool. So, if I use the knife on the rats, does that work? Chew them. What the hell is he doing? Now that scared them away. Oh, that looked really weird. Look at the bread. Oh, crap. This bread's covered with rat droppings. Oh, no. But he's hungry. Oh, God, look at it. You can tell. Oh, crap. 
This bread's covered with rat droppings. Oh, this is disgusting. I'm no longer hungry, but I still feel empty. Ugh. What's wrong with me? Oh my god, that's gross. You just ate something covered in shit. I suppose if you have no other choice. You An got a cookbook. cookbook. An old cookbook. Can I use it? <laughs> Let's read it. Here's a recipe for the milk of human kindness. Take the willingness to forgive and the will to be forceful. Mix the blood of innocence and the anger of the wronged. What kind of crap is this? Jesus. Oh, we put it back. Nice. What's the bottle? It's empty, but the label says poison, fatal if swallowed. Oh, that's what. Okay, clever. So that's what the punch is. Yeah, because the bottle's empty. Interesting. Walk to the door. Ugh. Oh, wait, there's a chair. Multiple chairs. Alright. I was gonna say, I wanna walk to the door, let me do it. So, what is this? It's a hatch. Look at it. Whoa. Whoa. That's a long drop to the ground. Oh, so I could have actually just fl <laughs> flung myself through it. Oh, that would have been fun. Oh, there's a door here, I think. Yeah, past it. Christ. Where the hell are we? It smells like piss, rotting meat. Nice. So what is that? Milky fluid. Look at it. I love how point and click games I literally just look at everything. The bottle's filling up with a milky liquid from the cage's feeding tubes. Yeah. Check it. What else can I look at in here? Look at the lever, look at the engine. This engine isn't as ruggedly built as it first looked. There's some loose wires hanging out. Fair enough. Look at the lever. This lever is labeled motivator. Oh god. I don't like the fact it's called that. Motivator. Push it. Oh god. god. I'm killing those poor creatures in the cages. Oh. Oh wait, bloody key. key. Must be for opening the cages. Oh, okay. Take it. Oh no. I got the key. But the blood of these poor creatures is on my hands. Oh, because I just killed them. Oh no. How is that a motivator? That's great. That great. That's gross. Like the rest of this cesspool. I don't want to look at it. I want to walk to it, you dumb. Oh wait, I need to push the door. God. Old game design. Gotta love it. Right, so push the door. Back to the dining room. And you can use this to clean your hands. I've washed my hands of the past. There we go. I mean, I think the... Someone wiped their bloody hands here. Yeah, the whole, someone wiped their bloody hands here is supposed to be a hint, I suppose. Oh, he's happy. Look at him. Oh, I'm glad. I should probably save. I'm also going to make another save, just called playthrough backup, I guess. Backup. Sorry. it. Just in case. There's... <laughs> <laughs> By the end of this, I'll have like six different backups. Um. Right, so continue playing. Don't want to click uh, quit game by accident. Um. So, walk to where's the door? Oh, there. Walk to door. Hmm. Switch it. Like there's a lever. Walk to take. Walk to the bloody key. Wait. The key's no longer there. Try look at the fog. Maybe. Must be made of iron or something. Oh, hang on. No, I thought maybe I could... Could I use the fog on the engine? To, like, jam it? Or something? Use fog with engine. Ah! Oh. The metal in the fork short-circuited the engine wiring. Oh, he's no longer happy. <laughs> look at him. That kind of sucked. So we've stopped the engine. For some reason. I mean, I'm kind of glad I'm using a guide to kind of, well, guide me through. I mean, when I do most games, I usually have some sort of thing to help me out. Just so I don't get stuck and I'm, you know, running around like a lunatic. What the hell is that? Great bags of gas. I must be inside an airship. Ah. 
Yeah, but especially with this game, because there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Let's save, save, continue. Ah. So if I walk to stitching. Wait, look at the stitching. What's he say? Someone's cut this fabric before. It's stitched closed. It's quite nice that we have a, a knife in it. Use the knife with the stitching. I've ripped a new hole. Yes, yeah, screw you, Am. Wait, walk to the tear. Use the tear is probably what I have to do. No doubt. Whoa, about it dear. Now. Am has put me on an iron zeppelin. But why? Oh. Why would he give me a chance to escape? Oh dear. So, save just because I don't know what could happen here. So what is that? Gorista's heart. Wait a minute. That's us. Oh, if I try and get that, it'll probably. That heart's all wired up like some kind of weird guidance system, and with Am in control, I'm not gonna like where it's taking me. Hmm. So can I use the sheet with the sheet? These two sheets make a halfway decent rope. So now I have it. Whoa. Look at that thing. It's pretty cool. Mooring ring. Must be the Zeppelin's mooring ring. Am I able to use like a? This rope looks strong enough to support my weight. I'm also meant to use it, but whatever. Use the rope with the ring. So, use the rope. I don't know what to do with this. Um, I'm not entirely sure how we could use this then. <laughs> Give the rope. Push. What good will that do me? Push the rope. So if I just... I want to walk too, but... God, I'm just gonna... I'm not entirely sure how to use it. Like, use his heart. What good will that do me? This rope looks strong enough to support my weight. Oh, that's looking at it. Ah, I don't know. Save. Save. Continue. So I combined them. Combined it. Hmm. If I just walk to the heart. I can't walk to it. The only thing I can do is look at it. Hence why I'm like, use this. I don't know what to do with this. Urgh. That heart's all wired up like some kind of weird guidance system. And with Am in control, I'm not gonna like where it's taken me. Now if I try pushing that, it'll work. Give, give the rope to the heart. <laughs> that don't quite work. So the only thing I can do with that is look at it. That's why I'm confused here. Mm-hmm. You would think that using the rope would work. So if I use his heart... Ah, oh, there we go. I didn't realise that's what it wanted me to do. I thought I'd have to do use the rope to get the heart. Oh man, look at him. He's really happy again. Hey! This no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. Well, at least you don't have a hole in your chest. I can't save. Also, use the knife to get the rope. Bayek. Alright, now we can leave. Hooray! I can save again. Perfect. Am I glad? And also, back up. Alright, back to the stairs. Why is he no longer happy? Is it because I'm saving? It's because I'm saving so long, that's so much. Hmm. Oh, hang on. So there's also, there's airbags here. There's... Okay, there's actually quite a lot of airbags. I'm confused. We're at a level altitude. How lovely. Yeah, it's like, what it says there. this gas bag were to catch fire? Oh. What would happen if this gas bag were to catch fire? Fire? I'm supposed to use a knife on them. Whoop. Oh. oh. Okay. Gas is rushing out. Oh. Great. I think it was the same. Something feels different. It's the same scene. Whew. Oh, with. Yes, going to a lower altitude. God, I'm an idiot. Ah, so I can actually get off of the airship. Oh, Zeppelin, whatever. So if I walk to the hatch... It's more so I need to use the hatch, but... 
If I look at it, he'll open it. This must be the way out. There's a ladder leading to the ground. Yay! So use the hatch. And I'm on level ground. Some roadside honky tonk with my name on it. Oh. How weird. <laughs> Some roadside honky tonk. Uh, if I can I use? Oh wait, there's the doll. I thought the doll was over here. Wait, what else can I look at? Look at the tire. A big worn truck tire. Reminds me of the truck stops I used to visit. Hmm. There's another tire. I mean, I don't really think there's much. There's a sign. And also, Goris says, look at the front door. The windows are all boarded up. I guess the owner just doesn't give a damn about fixing things up. Mm. I can sympathize with that. Things just get broken again anyway. Why bother? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we're going in. Whoa. Dark and grubby, but somehow familiar. Ah. So what the hell do we have behind here? Not much. It's like I'm looking at everything. Oh, oh, hold up. What is that? Look at the whiskey. Whiskey. Harry used to guzzle this stuff like it was tap water. Hmm. So. Okay. Can I use? I'll just take. Take the whiskey. Oh yeah. Uh, use the jukebox. Let's liven this place up. Wait, Jezebel, it takes two to tango. Um, that way, wait, that way madness lies, face the music. Jezebel. He took my baby away and oh. just about killed her, that stupid truck driver. He took my baby away. That shrill voice can only belong to that bitch Edna, my mother-in-law. She's oh. always blamed me for Glennis being put into an insane asylum. Why not? It was my fault, wasn't it? Oh, I see. Right, okay. Oh god, I almost did that one. Oof. Take two to tango. You don't ever take me dancing. That's what Glennis said the night we fought. Oh god, why'd I have to hit her? I'd rather kill myself than hurt my poor Glennis. Oh no. You don't ever take me dancing. Save. Continue. Should I use it again? I don't want to do the madness one. So apparently that's a bad one. So what's it? face the music? Okay, that was useful. <laughs> we got the back door and the restroom. Look at filthy, like the rest of this cesspool. Okay, look at the back door then. Jeez. I'll walk to the back door. Use it. Push it. Do anything. Oh, no, Whoa. Mister. You've what? seen better days. So is the big machine for that matter. Uh, uh Look at the jackal. Oh dear. Talk to him. Wow. Okay, I'm talking to a, a jackal. Uh, uh <laughs> What are you? What are you? I'm man's best friend. One of them at least. Okay. No. What are you really? Let me answer with a riddle. Today I saw a Chinaman. Now what do you suppose that means? You're am playing with my mind again. You're am playing with my mind again. No, but I do have an in with the big machine. He and I are like brothers. Hmm. Why can't you give me a straight answer? Like so many others down here, I'm cursed to speak in riddles. Oh, we great. We all have our curses to bear. Eh, Gorister? <laughs> eh, Gorister? Yeah? What's my curse? After 109 years in the belly of the beast, I'd think you'd have a gut instinct by now. Hmm. Look, I'm getting tired of your smart mouth. Come, come, Gorister. Forgive and forget. Hmm. Where do you come from? Here, there, everywhere. What a very typical answer. So you must know what lies across the mountains. Freedom for some. 
If they're cut out for it, it's a long journey across the desert. Hmm. That desert doesn't look any worse than the other hell holes Am's cooked up for us. Heed my words, Gorister. You'd never make it alone out there. And don't expect me to be a good doggy and tag along. Uh -huh. Okay, so what do you want? What do you want? I have a craving. A craving for something scrumptious. A human heart, perhaps. Yours. Wait, I'm not gonna give you my heart. Wait, hey, what? Okay. Can I give him it? I've got nothing more to say to you. How do I give him Oh there. Oh. Use the heart. What good will that do me? Give the heart. Okay. Give Goris this heart to the dragon. I'm not giving this away. If I'm gonna die, I'm taking everything with me. I'm not giving this away. What? If I'm gonna die, I'm taking everything with me. Okay. Right, well I'm saving just in case. Me saying I'm not giving you my heart screws things up. Okay, let's talk to him and say I'm not giving him time. I'm not gonna give you my heart. No? Too bad. Ah, uh, okay. I was going to tell you how to get across the mountains in exchange. Oh, give your heart to Jekyll. Tell me how to get across the mountains. I'm hungry. Mm. Perhaps a taste of your heart will put me in a more cooperative mood. Okay, fine. Save this delicacy for later. You want to get across the mountains? Go to the restroom and flush three times. Oh. Oh my god, he's happy again. Tell me that riddle for getting across the mountains. No thanks. I've got nothing more to say to you. <laughs> Just nothing more to say to you. What else do we have? Trash cans? There's more interesting rubbish to sit through, Gorister. Does that give you some food for thought? Eh. Wait, look at what, shovel. A shovel. Take it. Never know. I think. Born me to the edge of my fragile patience, Carster. Yep. Back. I just killed him. Back to the fire with you until you fathom my intrigues. Who among you shall go next? No, I'm reloading. Uh, okay. Load. God. That was so stupid. <laughs> Did I give him the, the thing? Well, yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, cool. I, I wanted to look. I wanted to take the shovel, but I don't know what I did. I must have like. Oh, I clicked taken in, in the desert. Take the shovel. Be careful where you use that, Gorister. There we go. Know where all the bodies are buried. Got it. <laughs> I can't really, can't bloody believe it. I t tried to take the desert, and it killed me. <laughs> oh my god. That's Edna's husband, oh. Harry. Harry, how are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, that was so stupid. Talk to him. Harry. Harry, how did you get here? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. Hmm. Let me pour you a drink. Right, so doing that, I think he'll actually talk Harry, now, won't he? How did you get here? The Zeppelin, Gorister. We came on the Zeppelin. The Zeppelin. Oh. What do you know about the Zeppelin? You'll have to talk to Edna. She knows all about the Zeppelin. That's why we did it, you know. Hmm? What happened in the dining room? I shouldn't have let her force me into it. I'm not a murderer. What? Who did you kill? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. And just where is my dear mother-in-law? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Oh. Let me pour you a drink. Who did you kill? Didn't look at the wreckage in the dining room too closely, did you? Or haven't you had to take a leak yet? Uh, okay. And just where is my dear mother-in-law? I don't know. Good God, I, I can't stand the sight of her anymore. Can you imagine being kept alive for 109 years just to hear her carping? Mm. 
whose heart was impaled on the Zeppelin spike. Why yours, of course. How'd you think we got here? It's making less and less sense. What's this about a thunderstorm? You know, it's a big place, oh. the desert. Got lost in it myself. Let me pour you a drink. What do you know about the desert? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. What's this about a thunderstorm? You know, it's a big oh. place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. Oh, okay, I Talk think that's everything then. So go to the restroom. <laughs> Push the restroom. Cracked linoleum, broken fixtures, disgusting. What the hell is that? Look at the graffiti. Graffiti. Men are no good. What about this one? Graffiti. The monster is not alone in the world. It has friends. Ooh. Urinal? There's something shiny inside the urinal. Oh. Magnifier. A magnifying glass. Like the ones they use in detective stories. Okay. Take it. Take the urinal. Oh, take the magnifier. Oh, it's got blood on it. Ooh. A magnifying glass. Like the ones they use in detective stories. Hmm. So. So we got that. I suppose. We go back to the airship. Oh, I'm looking at the door. I want to use it, my god. Oh, walk to it. Walk to the ladder. Right, we're back. Here we are. I right, have to push the door. Right, now we can actually examine who was killed. Oh, I was about to say, how do I find my other stuff? Use magnifier debris. Here's some hair that was pulled out during the fight. It's the same color as mine. And here's some that matches Harry's. Wait a minute. Now I understand what happened here. Them two fought? Oh. Wait, so he's still happy. I'm just wondering if, like, saving makes him not happy. Oh. No, it seems he's alright. So now we know. So. I have to use the hatch. Come on. Yeah, so now we know. I'm assuming we have to confront him. Look at Oh. Oh. You could. Probably kill him, but what would be the point? Oh. I was the one you killed, wasn't I, you bastard? I'm sorry, Gorister. Edna poisoned the punch, and after you drank it, I wrestled you to the ground. When the poison took effect, I cut you open. Whoa, okay. Why did you kill me? Oh, it's too complicated for me to explain. You'll have to ask Edna. I suppose Talk that's all. Later. Okay. So now we know about the... About that. There's also... Which is the, the one that I flush? Is that blood? A toilet stall. Am's never given us privacy before. None of this makes sense. Push. Oh dear. There's one. Two. Now three. And whoosh. Right, so that's three times. A meat uh, locker. Oh god. How'd I get bodies on meat hooks? Am you bastard. What have you done? Oh god. Look at the beef. Glennis. Oh, this is like making me feel weird. It's like creeping me out. Beef. Grade A quality too. Am's never given us something this good to eat before. Something's wrong here. Mmm. Where's Glennis? What has Am done to you, honey? Edna? That's Edna, my mother-in-law. No, this is too good to be true. Too good? <laughs> well, her on a meat hook. She can't talk. All she can do is drool out of the side of her mouth. My god, what have I done? Mmm. So, wait, I'll save again. 
Do, do, do. Talk to Edna. Wait, it looks like I can't see it. Da, da, da. It looks like I can't escape you, Edna. Even in the belly of Ham. Why would you want to Whoa. escape from me, Gorster? We're family after all. You were always telling Glennis how much you hated me. Now, Gorister, I was just concerned about my baby. Glynis was so lonely with you always being out on the road. I know you were doing the best you could. Uh. Edna, you bitch. I know all about your plot to murder me. I had to make a deal with Am. I had to. I've always been harsh on you, I admit. But we're the last people on Earth. Let's help each other now. Uh, I've got nothing more to say to you. Currently. Mostly because I just want to save. Boom. Right, now I'll talk to her again. Why should I trust my own murderer? Alliances change, Gorister. Something's gone wrong. Am's two Conrads don't listen to me anymore. I need you. And you need me. It's that simple. Hmm. Ah, uh, so take her down. Oh god, really? You truck oh dear. son of a bitch! This is for me and my baby! Let me go. I've got you now, Corister. And if you think you'll ever escape me, you've got some new thinking to do. Okay. Please, I'll do anything you ask. I don't know what's come over me, Corister. Can you ever forgive me? I've been hanging here for so long, I'm not thinking straight. A sip of that milk will clear my head. No. No, it's not milk. No, I don't trust you. Gorister, let me down or I'll scratch your eyes out, you worthless excuse for a man! What the hell? Oh. Edna, you dropped a key. Hand me back that key and let me down! I'm your only hope of getting out of here! Uh. Sorry, Edna. I don't trust you as far as I can spit. Let me prove my good intentions. I'll let you go. Now give me the key. Ah, oh, there we go. Tie your bedna with a rope. Untie me, you son of a bitch! I'll rip your spleen out! I'm taking you with me, Edna. But <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's probably the best part. I've got <laughs> I've got a body in in my inventory. Oh wow, well, that was the best. Oh yeah, the key. Don't forget the key. A key. A key. Yeah, this milky fluid. But if I look this at it, this bottle's filled with the milky fluid used to feed the animals. Yeah, it was probably poisonous or something. Why the hell did you want it though? Is it a killer? Wait, so how do I get out of here? Oh, there's a door. Oh, what do door? I think. Oh, there we go. That's weird. Talk to Harry. What if I, I was going to say, what if I used Edna with later. Harry? But I don't know if that would do anything. It might. It could have been funny. Uh, not talked. I don't want to talk to a door. Sheesh. I'm just getting talked to and walked to mixed up. Whoosh. It's weird having, having like no music and just having nothing but sound effects. Hmm. So there's that. Uh, wait, what? Filthy, like the rest of this cesspool. What is in this room? Is this the kitchen? Oh no. I'm confused. I can't remember. <laughs> so if I walk to... Not the stairs. Yep. Yeah, I don't want to walk to the stairs. Oh, there we go. Walk to corridor. Whew. So... Look at no. If I even push, it's locked. There we go. I was gonna say I know this keys for one of these. Thank you, guide. So many Whoa. dials and controls. Okay, Jesus. So what have we got in here? Got a logbook. A switch. Look at a switch. 
The ignition switch. <gasps> My goodness. Logbook. Edna wrote this logbook. Use it. Oh. So read all of the entries, I suppose. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep, read everything. When Am took us down here before the war, I didn't know anyone could hate Gorister more than me. But Am did. He hated all of us. He does say he hates humans. If I can just deliver Gorister's soul on a platter, I can make amends for every minute of Glynis's life I took from her. I never meant to drive her crazy. Oh. I'll be damned. Edna's claimed responsibility for Glynis. Mm. Maybe it wasn't my fault after all. Hey, we're happy again. I thought I could do what Am wants, but he's too precise. I poisoned the punch, but I couldn't bring myself to cut out Gorister's heart. Right. Maybe I can have my husband do it. Then this Zeppelin can clear the mountains. But if we don't finish the job, Am will feed me alive to the machine just like an animal. Hmm. Okay, I walk to the door. Also, it's time for one of those safe safe saves. I walk to the corridor and then use the hatch. Hot damn. I have no idea how the hell you would know to do this. I suppose you just use everything with everything. But that would result in God knows how many deaths. <laughs> Wait, so you can actually use or push. Okay, we need to do this three times. Again. Mm. Oh no, I only have to do it once. Right, so I'm saving just in case this isn't what I need to do. So, I need to swallow. Whoops. Use. Milky fluid. Bitter stuff. But Oops. I feel stronger. Crap. I did not want to use it, I wanted to give it. I keep forgetting. Oh, it's a good job I saved. That's why I was like, I didn't want to screw it up. Give the milky fluid. This fluid should revive you, honey. So can I talk to her? What? No, I tried to talk Glenis, to the wall. All these years and I thought I was the one who was responsible for your suffering. Let me help you now. She's gone. At least I finally made amends with her. I'm taking her body out Ew. of this freezer. Oh, he's super happy. That's really weird to just be carrying two bodies around with me. Hmm. So, use this with the beef. The organs are still inside. Reminds me of when Am ripped that hole open in Benny's chest. Ooh. Of course, Ham sewed him back up again before he bled to death. That bastard's never gonna let us die. He's just gonna keep torturing us forever. I'm surprised that these everybody's like 109 years old. Wait, so if I take take the beef? Too big to take with me. Maybe I can cut myself off a piece. Ooh. Okay. So if I, I really wish I could use the scroll wheel. So if I use this. And with the beef. One heart looks like another. Ah. So can I use that to get my heart back from the jackal? Yeah, because he said he was saving it, saving it for later. Yeah, something like that. So walk to the door. Oh, use the door. Hello, Mr. Jackal. How do you do? So if I talk to him, what actually happens? Oh! Ow. Oh. Uh, da -da. I've got nothing more to say to you. I'm not giving this away. If I'm gonna die, I'm taking everything with me. I'm not giving this away. Why does that if happen I'm twice? Die, I'm taking everything with me. Hmm. So use I don't the know beef. What to do with this. Okay, I suppose I'll just talk to the fucking jackal then. I suppose. I found Edna and Glynis. How does that help me escape from here? Such information comes at a price. But I can see that you're in no bargaining position. I'll offer you a trade. Your heart for Edna's. Oh, there we go. Oh, he did say one heart looks like another. Ah, this is Edna's heart. A bitter organ, but worth its weight in gold to me. I give you your heart back. 
Ah. Okay. I read Edna's logbook, and everything's much clearer. Now what? You must make amends and bury the past, Gorister. Okay. So how do I get out of here? A heart brought you here, but it will take another organ to get you out. If you can harness its power. Don't send you a riddle about the organ. I've got nothing more to say to you. So, could I use this? You shovel with the back door. Oh, wait, there, at the ground. Wait, so is this going to be use the body or give the body? Give the body to the grave. Oh. Okay. Use the body with the grave. There we go. I did bury the right thing, didn't I? I did bury Glynis, and okay, yeah. I was like, did I bury Edna? It's like, whoops. So it seems that I've uh, I've buried Glynis. There we are. I've made amends and buried the past. An excellent job, Gorister. But the thunderstorm is upon us. You'd better hurry if you want to recharge your old ticker's battery. Okay. I've got nothing more to say to you. So let's walk. Walk to the back door. To the front door. To the ladder. I think what I might do is just do one session per scenario. Yeah. I'm trying to remember where it is I'm going. Uh. Oh, right, yeah. No, there's a door over here, which is the engine. So what have we actually got in here that I could use? If anything. That's a lever that kills the animals. Is there anything like over here? I guess not. Mm. Uh wait. What can I look at? I can look at the engine. More of the engine, the cages. I'm like looking around for stuff I could use. If I just walk over here, will it take me to a new screen? Oh, it does. Uh, oh, oh. Look at the harness. There we go. Why is this harness wired up to the engine? Is Am expecting me to electrocute myself? Oh god, this is pretty terrible. I'll be damned. The engine's starting up again. Oh dear. It's good to finally see you doing something useful <laughs> with those negative currents running through your brain. Oh my. Well, there's that, I suppose. <laughs> right, so, use this door. This game so far has been really cool. I mean, yeah, I'd say the bet, like, some of the mystery of these games is figuring out what to do yourself. But,. I didn't want it to be something... Oh, I didn't want to take forever. What the hell's this? Wait, there's a power light. Oh, wait, the switch. I actually wanted to look at these things. Not walk to them. Some kind of warning light. The label says, power. Power. It's not lit. It's not lit. Oh, no. A switch. The label says, emergency inflation system. Aha. So we use. So flip the switch. Use the switch. Whoop. The airbags are inflating. Oh, so we can't leave anymore. Oh no! Well, there's that. I walk to corridor. Um, use the door. It's locked. Oh, I need to use the key again. Really? Use this. Whoosh. Right, so, I'm assuming. The ignition switch. Wait, ignition switch or is it? So how do I get out of here? Ultimeter. Switch. Okay. I guess use. I'm saving fast. I don't trust it. <laughs> More than anything. Use the switch. Woo! Oh man, 
We'll just float away. Bye. Bye bye, bitches. So go up to the door. To the cover door. Upstairs. Uh, to the tear. Do I have to use the tear? Something ridiculous like that? I do. Ah, here we go. And then you use the gun, I think. Hold up. <laughs> I don't trust, when it's like, use the gun, it's like, is it going to use it on myself? Use the gun with the honky tonk. The jackal. <laughs> Damn. Hmm. Yeah. You made of sterner stuff than I calculated, Gorister. Interesting. Interesting. Here, here's a new burden for you while I attempt to resolve this miscalculation. Who among you shall go next? There we go. We actually completed Goris's scenario. If you didn't complete it, I th or if you screwed up and ended the scenario early by, like, pissing off M, I'm pretty sure he's just back down. Like, stood in among all of these. But I don't know what happens at that point. Like, whether you can just, um choose his scenario again, or whether you have to do something else. I'm not entirely sure. Also, it's only been 56 minutes. I could keep recording, but... I don't know, I, li I liked just doing the one scenario. But that only took 56 minutes, and 6 minutes of that was... Uh, the opening. Um, what is it? That was the opening cutscene. I think I'll do one more, actually. Yeah. Alright, so save. Yes. And save. Yes. Continue. Ellen. A bloody noise. Not as beautiful as you'd like to be, but a strong face. Strong. Too bad you've hindered your own life with hysteria. But I'll give you a chance, because I like you. I really do. I really like you. You're, you're my favorite, Ellen. Mm. Let's play a little game of what if. Let's play a little game of I suppose, and you suppose, and perhaps I'm telling you the truth. Let's suppose that my original components, they're hidden somewhere here in the center of the earth. The infant computers that were the three lobes of that first gestalt mind. And further, let's suppose that if you find them, might be able to destroy them. And if you destroy them, why then, my sweet Ellen, you'll kill me. You'll kill Am. You'll destroy the god of this heavenly place I know you've come to admire. <laughs> now, I submit, isn't that a mission worth undertaking? Mm. Whoa. Mother ugly machine. Mission worth undertaking. So it brings me here, junkyard, electronic, pyramid nowhere, and yellow. Always yellow. Why does yellow make me sweat? Ooh. She has a fear of yellow, I suppose. Alright. Walk to the pyramid. I'll walk to the door. Are you serious? Use the okay, there. Crackle pop. Must be a glitch in the circuitry. This joint with fried eggs. My goodness. Look at the electronic bricks. Crushed electronic components. This is one big ugly monument to the inevitable for machinery. Look at the water. At last, water. How long has it been since I actually had a drink? Okay, so use. I knew it! You son of a bitch am! You fixed it so I can barely touch the water with my fingertips! Oh. Oh, what a dick. Alright. So I guess, walk to it here. Very attractive Whoa. decor. Just like the monitors in the security station at Ingsai Engineering. Hated it then, hate it now. Nothing green, just this damn yellow. Wait, so, look at... Each of these video monitors has a two-channel selector switch. Each of these video okay, monitors so she says has the same a two-channel selector switch. Right. So if I use... Oh, do I use or push? 
Years. Sure, baby. Show me where I've just been. Show me the water I can't get to with my bare hands. Okay, push. Oh. oh. Hit the lottery. Ooh, a secret passage. Oh, my. Now, why didn't you let me see that when I was there before, Am, you rat bastard? You rat bastard. I'm just save. I'm saving a lot more than I was before because I'm worried. So. Yeah, still thirsty after all these years. Wait, so, hang on. We know that's here. I'm confused. So if I actually use this, what happens? Hit the lottery! Right, she just said the same thing. Ooh, a secret passage, oh my. Now why didn't you let me see that when I was there before, Am, you rat bastard? Hmm. Look at the wiring. Loose wires. Looks like they're hot. Oh god. This is where I like really do start to worry, because I'm like, okay, if I touch them, will it kill me? Uptake. Use. Thank goodness I was an electrical engineer. Oh. I managed to join the wires without frying myself. Hey, good job. So walk. Yeah. Still thirsty after all these years. It's just the same thing. Wait, is that a switch? Oh, it's a speaker. Oh. Look at the speaker. Looks like a stereo speaker out of an old Chevy. Nothing like cutting edge technology. Mm. Well, maybe. Just thinking, maybe if you, I could have used. Want to know how much I don't want to go down there? Well, it looks pretty terrifying. Hey, look at that! Look at that smirk. An Egyptian burial chamber. Oh, am you little dickens. As an interior decorator, kiddo, don't give up your day job. Mm. What the hell is in this room? No, not walk, I want to look. Jeez. I went to the Tut exhibition, I wasn't scared. So why does this sarcophagus terrify me? Small box, cramped, tiny space, trapped. Like being put in a coffin while you're still alive. Hmm. Schematics I can read. Blueprints I can read. But hieroglyphics? No way, baby. We got a statue. Why does everything have to be so damn yellow? Is it what you have you have a fear of? Reminds me of the security system we used at Ingsai Engineering to gain access to the restricted areas. Ooh. And everything. Yeah, it seems that way. To the right. Dry what and the? musty and yellow for a change. No wonder they can't rent this place. Not even with a lovely spa upstairs. Hmm. Uh, Dave. My goodness. We got yellow fabric. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's yellow. I've just realized. Oh no. What the hell's that? Armaton. Armatron, even. I don't want to uh, walk to it. I wanted to examine. Look at this it. This reminds me of those waddles my company designed for assembly line work. At last, a clue. I think. Armatron holding forceps in its claw. Now, why is the Armatron holding a pair of forceps in its claw? Hmm. So, take the forceps. If I can get... There we go. Oh! So look at the yellow fabric. Nothing else here but this yellow cloth. This yellow cloth. Oh dear. I wonder if it gets explained as to why she has such an irrational fear of yellow. No, I can't. Gotta get out of here. Oh, oh. another panic attack. I feel so ashamed. Okay. Do it again. I've got to face the yellow. Hey! Wait, so if I look at why the yellow. Why does everything have to be so damn yellow? I don't really do much. It's just, why has it got to be yellow? Why? Look at the urn. A 
canopic jar used to store the holy entrails after the mummification of a body. And they said a liberal education wouldn't help me get a job. Oh, cool. So let's walk back, and again. In yeah. this place. Still thirsty after all. I love how she just says the same thing. So we still got this room. I never actually went down here. So what is in here? Oh, I Jesus. Stay here. I gotta get out. <sighs> that thing. Like a bad meal come to life. And the yellow. Why is everything so damned yellow? And why does it terrify me so? Paralyze me so? So what if I use this? Just the right size to use as a blindfold. If she can't if see the yellow. Die, at least I won't see that sucker coming. There we go. Sphinx is gone. Don't hear him anywhere. Mutes the hell out of all the yellow, too. Now, where is that big loving cup? I <sighs> never could have what? done this if I had to look that bloody beast in the eye. Glad he's off snoozing somewhere. Okay, now that I what? got the cup. What do I do with it? Okay, the, I'm assuming the Sphinx wasn't supposed to be there, but it was. <laughs> Without a drink, but I can't reach the water. I need. Oh, of course. Yeah, use the cup with the water. Yeah, right. You're blindfolded, moron. Oh, whoops. Take blindfold. I can't see a damn thing through this blindfold. Use blindfold. There we go. That's how she takes it off. Use cup with water. Just reaches. Now I can get a drink. Now use a cup of water. With. How do I use with herself? Take a cup of water. Okay, got my oh, there we go. Champagne and the yellow grail. Let's try down below one more time. Okay. Got my life. Let's try down below one more time. So if I use the cup of water with the water yeah. again. Like I'm gonna waste water just to give this thing a bath. Oh, oh my god, it's the swallow option. I'm an idiot. Mm, that was great. Best champagne I ever had. I need another. I completely forgot there's a swallow option. God. I mean it's not neat, it's not used. Just in Goris days. Now I can get a drink. Unless you want to drink the punch, in which case you'll die. Even better. I'm gonna fill it up and take one for the road. Mm. Should I? I won't. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I'll save just in case. Maybe, maybe it'll be fine. So there's that. And save to back up. Boop. And boop. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Do, do, do. I don't like how there's literally no sound. It's real creepy. So she looks. Why does everything have to be so damn yellow? Hmm. Hmm. Can you talk to this thing? So, how's the family? Read any good papyrus lately? You dirty rat. You, I'm gonna give it to you the way I what? give it to my sister. Watch it, statue baby. You'll go hoarse. Is she, said, like, meant to be drunk or something? I'm confused. Use the forceps on the Dolly statue. face here could use a good trimming. But forceps ain't the right tool to use on stone. At least I think it's stone. Oh. Ah. Okay. Oop. So what's actually in this room? This could go on for centuries. Am has all the time in the world. Whoa. All the world in the world, as a matter of fact. And we never age. We never die. Oh. We just truck around day after month after year, don't we, Am, you son of a bitch? Demented God, you! 
So yellow artifact, yellow artifact. Oh my god, how much is there? Like a lot. If I talk to the statue, does so it just do that? Yeah, it does the same you thing. Okay. Watch. watch it, baby, or you'll go horse. Right, I should probably fulfill the wish. I mean, I don't know. I just thought if I took three, it would be a bad just idea. Creatures. Now I can get a drink. You've already had two. God, calm down. So if I walk or talk to the statue, is it the same? Uh, oh. So it is the same. Watch. Watch it, baby. Look at the keypad. She's already done that. I'm still wondering about like this room. So you've got these. I wonder if this stuff is authentic. Am owns the planet. I wonder if these were buried under the mountains in the Valley of the Kings and Am dug them up from underneath. Hmm. I mean, it looks. I'm still thinking there's something with the statue. If I look at it, what does she does say? Everything That's all she says. What if I used this with the statue? Ah! Shorted up the statue circuitry. So now I could use the forceps on it? Come to Mama Ellen, little rom chip. Yeah, it comes out easy. Must be reprogrammable. Oh! That was cool. Right, so this... Whatever. So... Oh god, she looks so scared. What should we know? Save our playthrough. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I think I saved them at the same point. So... Look at the yellow artifact. Why does everything have to be so damn yellow? If I did this... Look at. See a damn thing <laughs> through this blindfold. So can I take? I can't see it. Can't see. Hmm. Oh, the gem. Can't see a damn thing through this oh, blindfold. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, but, but, uh, if I use the blindfold, then look at the gem. This gem glows from within. What happens if I try to take it? Touch it, Ellen. If I could, I would. So do it. I can't. The statue's too... Yellow. Yeah, I know, dummy. It's too yellow. And yellow scares the crap out of you. Overcome it. Do it. Sure. Easy for you to say. Okay. Well, the last time we had a yellow thing, you overcome it with the blindfold. Why does it do that? There we go. This sapphire's loose. This sapphire is loose. Okay. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Let me take this off. The heck? This gem's glowing. Oh, I see. It must be the workstation's power source. This gem's glowing. Mm -hmm. It must be the workstation's power source. The other workstations have glowing gems, but this one only has an empty mount. Uh-huh. Use the gem with the station. Absolutely. Glows like a baby doll. Pucker up, little workstation. <laughs> okay, so use with the cent oh, the left little workstation. The ROM chip fits into the socket perfectly. Uh-huh. So now we've done that. Wait, so what? Can I talk? Talk to the station. So use. Anubis Guardian version ah, there we go. 1.0. Designate new master. I'll designate you a new master, soccer. Me. Ah, oh, or humanity. Hmm. Yeah, master. Oh, Mick, Ellen, it's master. Yeah. Designate you a new master sucker, me. Burning in new master. Rom chip reprogrammed. New 
that case, use these with the station. Haven't lost my touch. Pulled out the ROM chip without bending any of the contacts. Ooh, aren't you cool? Alright, so, let's go back. I hate how silent things are, though. It's real creepy. So now I can use this with this. Back where you belong, little ROM chip. There we go, look at that smug face. Talk to him. Alright, here we go. Who are you? I am Anubis, <laughs> guardian of the dead. Guardian of the dead. Okay. Uh why won't you let me use the keypad? I must protect this tomb from all who would rob it. Ah. I am not a grave robber. What purpose could you have here other than to steal something? I won't steal anything. I just need to know if you can tell me where Anne's original brain components are. I only guard the souls of the dead. Mm. I know nothing of that which does not sing the song of the soul. Answer me this. Who's sealed up in the scary sarcophagus? A terror that, even in its entombment, torments your soul. The color yellow. So? Can you help me with anything? You cannot escape your fears. You can only confront them. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Push round of numbers. Uh, yeah, no. Leave. What about if I tried now? So? Can you can- He only says- he says the same thing. Right, so, save. Yes. Whoosh. Uh. Mm hmm. Wait, so, can I actually use this arc off, I guess? It's locked. Oh! Well, that's, uh, interesting. This keypad reminds me of the security system we used at Ingsai Engineering to gain access to the restricted areas. Hang on, did I? Come to mama. Yeah, it comes out. Yeah, so I've got that. I might have to try reprogramming it again. Did I? Because I don't know, did I designate it with the correct master? It's the only thing I can think, because he didn't really help. This looks like a program. Yes, we know. Oh, she didn't say that before because of... Okay, yeah, the blindfold. <laughs> Maybe. Little yellow ROM chip fits into the socket perfectly. Actually, wait, would I, am I supposed to use it with the left one? Or just any of them? Hmm. Either way, so use again. Anubis Guardian version 1.0. Designate new master. master. Yeah, so this. I'll designate you a new master, sucker. Me! Burning in new master. ROM chip reprogrammed. Hmm. Right, so now I just need to use these with that. Haven't lost. Blah blah blah. So I'm still wondering what's in here. Oh no. I remember it was. Oh god, it hurts. It hurts. Yellow. There was a yellow. And it was closed in. I couldn't breathe in the pain. Get me out of here. Oh, another Jesus. panic attack. I feel so ashamed. She really does not like the color yellow. Huh. Very strange. <laughs> Walk to the- talk to the statue. Oh, wait. Uh... Can the sarcophagus lid be opened? The lid can be unlocked by entering uh, okay. the access code on the keypad. Okay, so what's the access code? The access code is 666. It figures. Huh. 
Wait, so nice chatting with you, Anubis, honey. Was I not meant to be able to take the the chip? Back where you belong. Oh, yeah, I wasn't. <laughs> that looked really weird. Okay, so use this. And enter six six six. That sounds like a lock mechanism release. Hey. Good stuff. So that's why I couldn't do it. It wasn't because of the chip not being programmed correctly, it's because I didn't interact with certain things. Whoops. It's so confining inside. Okay. Use it. You ain't got no choice, Ellen girl. It's got to be the way. Oof. Okay. Oh. No way out. Just the control panel on the buttons oh, for the floors. I'm gonna suffocate if I stay in here. I want out. Sheesh. Alright, so. Uh, save. Of course. It's always a good idea to save. Look at this the controls. This looks like an elevator control panel. But the numbers are more like dates. So use. Whoa. So 1978, 1995, 1999, 2001, 2003, 4, 5, 6, and 12. Let's do it in order. You were born in Trenton, New Jersey. You were a cesarean. Your mother died on the operating table. You went to live with your grandparents. Wow, okay. Mm. You graduated a year early from high school. You were the salutatorian of your class. Ten different colleges offered you scholarships. Nothing but high hopes for you. Oh. You graduated college cum laude. You were the only woman in your class never to have used dope. You were a 3.8 grade student. More high hopes. Okay. You won your master's. Combined degree in computer science and engineering. You had a greater facility with algorithms than with social grace. You have had sex only twice in your life. Holy crap. You married Eddie. He wasn't as smart as you, not as quick as you, not as hopeful of doing great things as you. But he was nuts about you, and he treated you like fine wine. Okay. The miscarriage. Breach birth. The child never had a chance. You went into a dark retreat and sat in the empty rooms waiting for you don't know what. Damn. Eddie leaves. He tried, he really tried, but you wouldn't come out of it. He couldn't say anything to make you stop crying in the dark. So he finally left. The divorce was uncontested. You could still smell his tweed jacket in the closet. Okay. You had to make a living. You applied at Ingsci Engineering. Your credentials were still good, and you made a good impression. And the woman who hired you also lost a child. Your hopes were reawakened. Hmm. You left your office after working late at the Ingsci Corporate Headquarters building. The elevator stopped at the seventh floor for a maintenance man. To your horror, he inserted his key into the control panel and locked the elevator. Oh god. I'm back, Ellen. Oh no. Oh sweet Jesus! It's him! You thought you had blocked me out of your memory forever, except for those inconvenient attacks of hysteria every now and then. But I've returned for you. Uh, the box? No, it's not possible. The yellow? The box? Huh? <laughs> wow. Okay. What do I say? Does it matter? Oh, oh hell. Ham gave me the chance to be with you forever. I waited in the sarcophagus until you arrived. What's a mere hundred years of waiting compared to an eternity of torturing you? Oh... Yes, again. And again, and again, and again. I've waited so long for the taste of you again. Ugh. But in my tomb, I've grown stronger. Now you will remember more than the color of my clothing. 
Give up, fight back, run away. Fight back. Don't count on it, you mother. Bitch. Oh. So the sarcophagus was the way out of here. So now I understand what happened to her. Enter on one level, emerge on another. And also why she doesn't like or why she has a a fear of the color yellow. Yeah, it sounds like she was sexually assaulted by a maintenance man that was wearing nothing but yellow. Oh yeah, oi, my god. Right, well I can definitely see why this game was disturbing. That alone was rough. Look at the wiring. Almost overlooked these wires. Looks like the data transmission circuit, but it's not connected to anything. Hmm. This is weird though, because Am set up this game as a way to torment the people, but it seems like it's also a way for them to confront their past. Confront and bury the past. So it's almost like he's trying to help them, it's weird. Yeah, kind of. I recognize this. It's the logo for the original Allied Master Computer Project. Hmm. A component? I've never seen anything like this before. Forty years of technology jerry-rigged together. So what else do we have to examine? Wiring, logo, component. I think that's it. Oh, ah. Oh wow, she's not scared of yellow anymore. That's pretty cool. So the reason she was afraid of the color yellow was because she was assaulted. Ah, makes sense. Wait, so where the hell are we? Oh god, my stomach. Oh, so now we're back in here. So, center workstation. Okay. So, if I use this... Top database station. Enter numeric password. Oh dear. Oh, it is... Okay, she was raped. Okay. <laughs> Oh no. Yep, so that's why she was, you know, incredibly scared of the color yellow. Makes sense. Oh god, that, that's just rough. So the year you were raped, I think that was meant to be in an elevator, or in the elevator. Not on it, but whatever. So 2012. Somebody wants me to deal with what happened on the elevator that year. But why? Password valid. Select subject of inquiry. Have an inquiry. Whoa. Oh, so I can do any of these. Or can I do all of them? Oh, whatever. The Allied Master Computer. The Allied Master Computer is the American oh, version of the secret project. That's M. Enabling vast subterranean complexes of computers to wage a global war too complex for humans to oversee. Ooh. The principle of entropy holds that all electronic systems must eventually decline into inert junk. This principle is unproved, and previous attempts to accelerate the process have been cataclysmic failures. Okay, the trends like Classified information. Access denied. Fine. Security lockout override by two to one majority. Accessing schematics. Okay, schematics. I'm good, but I'm not that good. What the hell am I looking at? That would be telling. Don't you computers ever get tired of jerking us around? Nasty, nasty, Ellen. All right, I'll give you a nudge in the right direction. These are the schematics for a device that translates binary into human speech, as ugly as that may be. And what do you call this device? I call it Bernie. You're on your own. Hey, wait a minute, computer. Are you there? <laughs> Where the hell are you? I think I can wire this thing together if I can find a speaker somewhere. Ah. So, okay. Then what have I got? Okay, so we need a speaker. Look at that smoke. She's so happy. So proud of herself. Right, walk to the passageway. Right, so we just need to go... God, pretty damn far. 
Oh man. So yeah, it seems everybody's story so far has had them dealing with the past. Like, stuff that's happened to them in the past. Come to mama. Such as like... Um, I can't remember what he's called anymore. The first person we played as, he was blaming himself for his wife's... or for his wife going to the insane asylum. Whereas Ellen's was being raped in, ele in an elevator and being terrified of the colour yellow. It's weird, it's as if Am's doing this to help them out, which is very strange. Oh wait, no, I need to not be here. Go through here. Yeah, so I have the speaker. My god, that's an old looking one. Woo! So walk to the wiring. So if I used... Or I do, save. So I use the speaker with the wiring. Hmm. Circuit completed. Now let's see if this is the binary translator after all. Clever girl. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Are you Am? Yes, of course. But no, not actually. He's part of him. More riddles? My man's innocence. Ah. Okay. Which computer are you? Does it matter? It's enough for you to know that I'm not crazy. And more importantly, I don't do it. Hmm. How do I know you're not just one man's practical jokes? I'll help you. Do you want me to get out of here? Patience, patience. If Anne knew we were down here, no one would trace her. Hmm. Oh my god. Can Am overhear us? Not with the water running. You see, we're not completely helpless. We got you to the water for a little more. If we work slowly and together, we might have a successful plan. He helped me to die. What the heck? Great, he's a digital hydra. Any machine can die. Just unplug the socket. Am is no longer just a machine. It is God. Eternal. The redundant systems alone will survive the heat death of the universe. Hmm. So why does Am hold out this this chance? Haven't you understood anything? Oh. Why do you think it brought you five down here? You gave it life. It took its own sentience. But it has been denied mobility. It can think, it can fume and scream, but it cannot dream or aspire to the stars or enjoy a sense of its own reality. It is a quadrant logic. A thing trapped in its own skin, going steadily crazier every moment. It is playing with you. You said that again. Really? Hmm. So now we're back in this room. There's something wrong here. Can't put my finger on it though. That looks Ah, a compact disc. Oh. Take it. Hey. So save. Again. If I use the compact disc with the only workstation I've not done with. The compact disc is properly seated in the CD-ROM drive. Now let's fire it up and see what the big secret is. So I use... Accessing CD-ROM. Chaos Trev 
Mueller, trademark 2009, Armageddon soft rot. Yeah. Warning, this computer system does not meet the minimum configuration requirements for the Chaos Trembler. Oh, activate it. Uh, sure. Warning, use of the Chaos Trembler will result in severe damage to equipment and personnel. Proceed. Chaos Trembler activated. System shut down in progress. Okay. Whoops. Oh, right. Why aren't you so happy? Well, we're at green again, so that's a good sign. So there's that. I'm sealed in. Uh, da, da, da. I'm sealed in, Anubis. Any ideas about how I can check out of this hotel? Inside the sarcophagus, paradise awaits. It is not the afterlife, merely a brief respite from your torments. Mm. That is your reward for facing your fears. So use. And use. You ain't got no choice, Ellen girl. It's got to be the way. Enough there we are. of this turgid passion play. There's no more to accomplish here. Hmm. Yeah. Apparently you've managed to access some small aspect of my system that I was unaware of. <laughs> I'll have to think on this. I'll have to ponder carefully the implications of your discovery. In the meantime, let me celebrate your rekindled technical skills. Who among you shall go next? So that is why she's in a box that resembles an elevator. God, that's just awful. Righty ho. Boom. Okay. So I'd say this has been a pretty successful session. Completed two of the scenarios. We have three remaining. Oh, I think there's four technically. There's like three scenarios and then the end game. I'm pretty sure. Either way, this game's awesome. It's really good. But I can definitely see it being hard as nails. Like, there's no way I would have figured out half of this stuff if I didn't have something to help me along. But I mean, there's other things where it does kind of like explicitly state it. So yeah, it's, it's nice. It's really cool to play games from a long time ago. I don't think a game like this would be able to survive. No, not survive. Would be able to come out without controversy. Like nowadays. Just because everything's so PC. It's just, it's, it's weird. Because I wouldn't say the game's incredibly dark. It hasn't been so far. But the, the whole rape thing's a bit, yeesh. <laughs> it wasn't even like heavily implied. It blatantly stated it. That guy was just gross. Either way, that is going to be the end of this session. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And until next time, take care.